hello friends you are welcome to this video today in this video i am going to tell you about how to connect to different data sources in power bi right but before that if you are new to this channel please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you find this video useful so i have prepared a screen of sales report based on the sale data which i my organization is provided in the form of excel so let me tell you from the scratch i am deleting this data set as of now now i have a blank screen of power bi and it's asking me to connect the data right so let's see how we can connect the data in the previous video i told you about how to connect the data sources so here you are seeing get data tab we can connect data from from this tab from multiple sources it depends on the file type if we have text or csv or we are connecting to our database we can choose the option according to that so i have a excel worksheet in my local system so i go with the option of excel workbook right now this is the sample sales report i am working on this sample sales report you can just simply choose the report where you have in that no now i have this in the sales 2022 report right one more option you have uh, if you if, if you know you are connecting excel workbook you can directly go over this and you can choose this right now it will show you the sheets in that report if you have i i only have a single sheet so it's showing me the data this right state district brand for it just a preview of some uh, rows limited limited rows it will show if your data size is huge it will show you the preview so you can verify your data is correct or not right so you have to check on this sheet if you have multiple sheets you can select the sheets uh, which you want to load in your power bi now look you have three option there load transform data and cancel if you don't want to load the data if you can simply cancel it you have load and transform data so if you click over the load data it will load the data directly on the power bi desktop you don't uh, you can't perform any etl function transformation function so my suggestion for you if you are connecting uh, data uh, through excel from your local system always go with the transform data option so it will it will pop up a new window power query editor right not we are not uh, on this page right now this is the power bi desktop now this is the power query editor right <clears throat> why i told you to go to the transform data always so first of all let me select the sheet name here rename this we just put this sales report 2000 Uh, i am not putting any uh, 2022 just i named it sales report right now you are seeing column columns we have state district brand product area officer date sales and target now let me uh, tell you about some options there right so in the state column you are seeing this abc option that shows this data type is a string type right because uh, state has values in the form of alphabet right so if you click on this option you can simply preview your data what values you have if similarly i click on district it will show me the district preview if 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 anyhow my data is not detected correctly so that is the beauty of power bi it will automatically detect the data type you don't have to put any uh, extra effort to detect the data type right now i have only these options brand product and this so almost my data type is correct but what if in the case the data type is not detected correct uh, right uh, for example let me show you i have sales this is 1 2 3 this is a numerical so obviously our sales has some numerical values not text type if i click on this text type so it will add a options there right so this is the applied step whenever we do any changes any transformation it will apply the next uh, steps in this pane you are seeing applied step right so i have changed the text type now these values are text type that that's why they are appearing in left but always go with the data type so my data type is here whole number or i can also i can also um, set as a decimal number not uh, that is not a issue right now my target has decimal numbers in some cases so it will detect it as decimal numbers right you can also round off these figures if you want to show your uh, targets as up to two decimal one decimal so make sure before uh, 
loading data directly to power bi your data type must be must be same as per the values right they are numerical values so my data type is numerical type now let's quickly uh, show me some uh, transformation based on the date so i want to add a column based on this column so i just selected this column and i want to add a, i want to fetch year month and day from this date column so just go over the add column tab and you are seeing it will actually add a new column based on your requirement so my requirement is i want to fetch the year from this date right now you are seeing it added a new column and in this column i have year from this date right so similarly i also want to add month name of month so it added the name of month right so these are the small uh, is anything i want to add day day name name of day okay now these columns i have fetched from from the date column so you can also do as per your requirement if you want now this is the transformation which i want to do if you want to remove any column you can just click on that right click remove right so it will remove column but what if you removed any column can you bring it back directly yes absolutely i told you whenever you perform any function there it up uh, it it recorded in these applied steps right this is my recent uh, step right remove column but if i click on cross it will remove that step and we get back to the previous step right state or also so now these are the transformation i have applied on this data set now if i click over home and close and apply so it will load this data into my power bi desktop as per the changes which i want right <clears throat> now our data is loaded so i told you about three views of power bi now it's a time to learn it practically this is the report view here we will build our report but before that it is a data tab view it is just for the view uh, view purpose like now our data looks like this so in our raw data we have only target column state district brand product area date sales target right now these three columns we were added manually so our data is loaded correctly and the number of rows you can see there 39 right and this is the modeling tab so data modeling is itself a time taking a process and a learning perspective so we will learn it in another video so now let's start building the report i am selecting a bar chart here now you are seeing there are many columns all the columns are appearing if you just simply drag <coughs> down the arrow of this column now you can show the sales as i want to show in a bar chart sales brand wise right this is the brand wise sales i put in this so i am just creating this dashboard for the visual for the learning purpose never mind if it is it's look like better or not so i just put the brand and sales right now in in bar chart i am showing brand wise sales in uh, pie chart i am showing product wise sales so, right so this is the table how table looks like table we can just simply put the columns in table form so if if i put the ta uh, tables just i want to put state <coughs> it asking only column so you can put many columns as you want state district brand sales target right and the beauty of table is that it it automatically aggregated the sales right in andhra pradesh district brand f the sales is 193 it is a aggregate sale if you click over there this showing by default sum if any case you want don't want to sum you if you want to showing average you can just simply click on this these are the implicit measures you can change the values by so you have some options like sum average minimum maximum value count or whenever so in my case i just want to show sum so i just selected the sum here and now you are seeing these values are uh, not looks uh, good right so this is the formatting you can simply change the names from this these are the temporary name changes and i can change the name here sales and target right you can also adjust the width of this columns as well you all have formatting options there and you can put 
if, if i put their product it will and now it will aggregate the sales by product wise you can add many filter as you want right now one more thing i want to uh, show you the map visual this is the map visual it is an ai feature of uh, power bi if i put their district in location and uh, sales now it will show me the district wise sales in india right and uh, i don't have lot longitude latitude on bubble size i put sales so it will show me the regions <coughs> the um, bigger bubbles have showing the sales volume of sales is uh, large as per the small smaller bubbles right so you don't have to do any specific thing it is an brilliant ai feature of power bi map visual now one more visual i want to tell you this is the slicer it is basically used to filter the data now we can add filter here uh, let's say i want to add here year and month filter right and i am just setting is as drop down what now you are seeing into uh, we have 2022 data only right in your case if you are working on data in my case i have my organization provided me data of 2000 2022 sales data right if i click over march the whole visuals filtered by march right but i don't have it showing blank because i don't have march month data if i click over january february okay i have april month data right now this is may june so if you don't have data it will show you blank otherwise it will show you proper data so let's see in our data we have data of a click over month so okay so i have only april december and may month data so it will show show the data of only that particular month if i select december it will show me december data right so this is how you can connect uh, data of, uh, from excel source if your organization is providing you data on excel and you can build different different visualize visuals uh, and reports in this page you can also build report on another page if you want to build a two page report if one page is not enough but in my case i am just showing you the report right but now the question arises here uh, if your data size is big or uh, your company is providing you data in many forms of excel right uh, like if i have data of 2022 now i move to the next year 2023 now uh, now company will provide me next month data next year data right so how to deal th that kind of situation basically so this is not the case we were, we are loading data manually whenever they provided the data set right so this is not the case so for that purpose i will show you some a solution how to deal with that right instead of uh, connecting directly to the excel we can connect to the folder in the more option you are seeing there is a option of connecting to a folder now what is the beauty of connecting directly to a folder instead of directly an excel right now let me show you the data right i have now you are seeing our data type is this state district uh, sales and target these are given but for the 2022 now my company is has provided me sample sales data of 2023 right so i don't have to prepare prepare any separate report report i will show you how to deal with this right so i am telling you about the benefit of connecting directly to the folder instead of excel so i am deleting this report data set now because i don't want to connect to the excel anymore i am directly showing you what is the benefit of connecting to the folder now i have connecting now i am connecting to the folder you can directly uh, paste the folder path here or you can also browse there so my sample file is this so i am just copy this path copying this path and paste is here you can also browse it will show you option where is your file and this so i just click on click 
so i just clicked on that and when you are connecting to folder it will show you some uh, extra option combine right so you can also go with load data transform data and cancel but in that case just always go with combine and transform data why i told you to uh, go with the combine and transform data so now you click on sheet and it will show you the data so our data is all okay we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 columns right so i clicked over there so it will take some time to load the data on power bi desktop right so we clicked on transform data so now you are why i told you to go with transform data every time because it is very important now you are seeing this source name column is added extra but we don't want this column so you can just simply delete that column and everything else is fine right if you want you can add columns from this but for the time being purpose i am not doing anything here because i already told you just simply click on close and apply now the 39 rows has been added in this folder so i have to put again into this folder the values so i am just putting the values there this is the brand wise sales and this is our district wise sales in the map visual and here we are showing state and district brand top wise sales and target right and here we are showing product wise sales right or our filter is also very important year and month now this is the same thing which i have told you but you are seeing we have all data of 2022 right now this is uh, this is not the case this is the thing which i have already told you but the thing which i want to show you that this file i have received from my client right this is the sample report of 2023 this has some data of new year new months right so let's quickly tour this data how it looks like actually but make sure whenever company uh, provide you new data all the format of data and the number of columns and the name of column should be same so that the benefit of connecting to folder is work so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so it is a really it is a similar data state district wise like the sample file we have of 2022 so i am just closing this as i told you i have connected this sales folder right i have given the path of this if you remember right so i am just simply copying this sales uh, file sample sales file 2023 and pasting this into this folder now you are seeing there are two files in this folder right now you just simply need to refresh from this and it will automatically load that data in power bi now in year filter we have only one option right now right now now looks the beauty it will show you option of 2023 as well right if you click any month of right march, march we have new data of 2023 january similarly when you are in 2024 you got new data you can just simply put that folder that file into this folder and refresh it will automatically load that data detect that data and your auto, uh, uh, report will be automated you don't have and need to do any manual work basically now this is the two years data of 2022 and 23 this is the benefit of connecting to the folder instead of a single file of excel i hope you understand about the concept of benefits of connecting to a folder and how to connect the data source and visual if you find this video helpful uh, kindly share this video with your friends and family thank you so much